Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquee of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Christmas can be an event, Christmas can be a miracle, Christmas can be all the theological things that you can cook up. But for me, Christmas is a principled field event. And for me, I'm digging at, at the principles. Because if you come and tell me where well, Jesus was born on Christmas Day, I'll say, yeah, you would say we shouldn't even celebrate Christmas Day. I don't really care about those things. But the principles invested, those are the things that matter most to me. And um, if you read the Bible very carefully, in, in Luke chapter 1, from verse 39 to 45, uh, there's something that goes on. And I like to call today doubt partnerships. The partnerships of doubt. I mean, wow, wow. Now, in Luke 1, it begins with the story of Elizabeth, you know, um, the one who could not get pregnant and she was very old and stricken in years. And all of a sudden, there was a miracle for her. Even her husband doubted it, but God made it possible. And Elizabeth was pregnant with John. And the Bible says Elizabeth was pregnant with John. And then an angel goes to Mary around that same time, long after Elizabeth had gotten pregnant. I mean, the angel goes to Mary and also tells Mary, hey, Mary, you know, um, you are going to be pregnant with the Holy Ghost and all the blah, 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 blah. And the Bible said, and Mary said, Oh, oh, how can I be pregnant when I have not known a man? So in Mary was a seed of doubt. In Mary was the, 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 the potential for doubt. I mean, how, this thing, how, what, I mean, what are you talking about? You get it? How can it be? And, and, and Mary was, was, was doubtful. And then the angel said something. I thought at that time the angel was going to wave a rod, you get it, and then collect sand and turn it into thunder and lightning and all those other things. But the angel said something, he said, well, okay, if you don't believe, you know, your cousin Elizabeth is also pregnant with seed. The one they said was barren. So you go to her and then you will see for yourself. That means for your doubt, there is a post of faith over there. That is for your unbelief, there's someone who has also received the miracle. And that person is going to encourage you. And that person is going to be a, a source of encouragement and comfort to you. That what is happening to you is real. So guess what? Mary goes to Elizabeth, and when Elizabeth saw her, Elizabeth screamed and said, the baby in my womb leapt for joy. The baby in Elizabeth's womb leapt. So you know what? Here's the thing. Mary, in a moment of doubt, even though God had spoken, Mary, in a moment of doubt, needed a human partner that is somebody who was going to uh, 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 stir up her faith. Someone who is going to encourage her. Someone who is going to tell her that it is possible. Someone who is going to pull her out of her doubt and place her in faith. And it was Elizabeth. It was a human being. Listen, for the things that God wants to do with you, sometimes when you are not so sure, sometimes this thing, seek for other people who have also experienced a miracle. Because if you go to somebody who has not experienced anything, they don't know what, what to tell you. But Elizabeth was pregnant. And the Bible said immediately Mary appeared. The baby began to jump in her womb. Guess what? There was joy in the womb of Elizabeth. So number two, you go to people that you seek for people who also have a miracle. And then number two, you seek for people who are going to be happy for you. Mary, Elizabeth was happy for Mary. So you need to go to people who are happy for you. Who, who are going to run along with you and say, and kind of say, yes, I know, it has happened to me before. And man, I'm excited about you. You go to people who are excited about you, who are excited about your dream, your vision, your purpose, your destiny. That was what Mary did. And the Bible said, I mean, she began to encourage Mary. She wanted to speak into Mary's life. Listen, you need people sometimes when we are shackled or when we are, we are, we are heckled by the things that uh, the, the world throws at us or the devil throws at us, you know, uh, uh, to kill our faith and to, and to belittle our, our belief in ourselves and all the things that comes with purpose. You need somebody to speak into your life. And you need somebody who has walked the road. 
You need somebody who has walked the mile. You need somebody who knows what they are talking about. You need somebody who is going to encourage you and who is going to be excited over you or with you. Because that person also carries something. As iron sharpeneth iron, so does a man the countenance of his friend. It's not wood sharpening iron. It's iron sharpening iron. So look for similarity. Look for iron. And that's why those people have the power to speak into your life because they have walked that road before. They have walked that road before, so they know what they are talking about. Not people who will kill your faith. Not people who will discourage you because of their barrenness. Because of their faithlessness. And because of their hopelessness. So sometimes, in the pursuit of dreams and destiny, you need partners who are going to stand with you in your doubt and encourage you into faith. See you later.